Okay, in this video I just want to give a quick little introduction to what are called geometric sequences. And the definition of a geometric sequence, we say um, a geometric sequence is simply a sequence of numbers, just a listing of numbers, where each term after the first term is found by multiplying the previous one by a fixed non-zero number that we call the common ratio. A lot of times, um, typically this common ratio, we abbreviate it as R for ratio. So all I want to do in this video is just, uh, we've got a couple, a couple of sequences here. We just want to determine which, if any, are geometric. And if so, we want to give uh, the value of that common ratio, R. Okay, so let's look at my first, uh, my first listing of numbers. We've got 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, 96. Well, um, hopefully you see the pattern. Um, and again, when you're talking about geometric series, it has to do with, uh, you know, either multiplication or division. So notice I multiply, um, if I multiply 3 by 2, I get the next number 6. If I multiply 6 by 2, I get 12. If I multiply 12 by 2, I get 24. If I multiply 24 by uh, 2, I get 48. Likewise, if I multiply 48 by 2, I get 96. Um, so assuming this pattern continues, we would say yes, this is a geometric sequence. And we say the R value is going to be equal to simply uh, the number 2. So the common ratio of this geometric sequence is 2 because that's what we're multiplying by each time to get to the next, uh, the next number. So, okay, how about 3, 3 halves, 3 fourths, 3 eighths, 3 sixteenths, 3 twelfths, 3 over 64? Typically what I do, um, you know, if I'm trying to spot if something's geometric or not, I simply, you know, find two numbers where it's easy to go from one number to the next, and I, and I just kind of check that pattern from there. So I think to go from three to three halves, well, you can think about three as being three over one. So it looks like we're multiplying the top by one. We're not changing its value, but we're multiplying the bottom by two. Um, so three times a half is going to give you three halves. Notice if you multiply 3 halves by 1 half, again, you'll get 3 on top, but now 4 on the bottom. Again, if we multiply by 1 half, um, we'll get 3 eighths. If we multiply by 1 half, we'll get 3 over 16, 3 over 32, 3 over 64, etc. So, um, so we said our first one, yes, was geometric. Um, this one also is going to be geometric. And here our R value is going to be equal to 1 half because we're multiplying by the number one half every time. If you look at example number three, well, here we go from 10 to 15 to 20 to 25 to 30. A couple different ways you could think about this one. Um, to go from 10 to 15, um, what you can do is you can simply divide 15 by 10. That's another way to find the R value. So if you take 15 divided by 10, that's going to be uh, the number 1.5. So basically it says you're multiplying 10 by 1.5 to go to 15. But if you mul uh, multiply 15 by 1.5, you don't get the number 20. Um, you're going to get, what, like a 22 and a half. So in this case we say no, it's not geometric. Because we're not multiplying by the same number every time to get to the next number. Um, this is an example of an arithmetic uh, sequence, however, though, because we are adding 5 each time, but it's not geometric. Um, the last one may be a little bit trickier. So if you have negative 1 and then you go to the number 0.1, well, to me, um, since you're going from a negative to a positive, if there is, uh, if, if it is geometric, the R value, the ratio is going to have to be negative. Um, and well, if you multiply 1 uh, by 0.1, or equivalently 1 tenth, you will go from negative 1 to the value 0.1. Um, and another way to get this is just take, again, 0.1 and divide it by negative 1. Um, if you simplify, move the decimal place over, that gives you negative 1 over 10. Notice if you multiply, so actually I'm going to change all these, I think, even into fractions. I know everybody hates fractions, but uh, I think they're easier to work with than decimals. Um, so, so 0 0.001, that's going to be 1 over 1,000. Our next number, 
we're just going to have an extra zero, so 1 over 10,000 in the denominator. And notice if you multiply by negative one tenth, so a negative, excuse me, so positive one tenth times negative one tenth, that would give us negative one over a hundred. If you multiply negative one over a hundred by negative one over ten, okay, it's going to turn positive. The top stays one. The bottom, you're going to get a thousand, so that looks like that works. And then if you take one over a thousand and multiply it by negative one over ten, again, you get the number negative one over ten thousand. So in this case, if this continues, I would say yes, this looks like it's geometric. And in this case, our r value is negative 1 over 10, or equivalently negative uh, 0.1, however, however you want to use it. Um, so again, it's pretty, I think, you know, it's not too bad to spot geometric series. Um, going back to the first example, again, just to emphasize how you can pick out your r value. Notice if you take 3 divided by 6, we get the number 2. If we take 12 divided by 6, again, we get the number 2. 24 divided by 12, we get 2. 48 divided by 24, we get 2. 96 divided by 48, we get the number 2. Um, and this, again, is what we said our R value was. So if you have a calculator handy and you feel a little shaky with your arithmetic, just take one number, divide it by the previous number, and you're going to have to do this for all kind of uh, consecutive pairs of numbers. But if you get that same R value, it says, yeah, it is going to be um, considered a geometric sequence. So, okay, um, I hope this video helps a little bit. I hope it doesn't confuse you too much at all. I'm going to do some other videos where I talk about finding just, uh, you know, some generic term, the nth term. And then I'm also going to talk about finding sums of finite geometric series. Um, I also have already talked about finding sums of infinite geometric series. That was a little bit more uh, in a calculus setting that, that those videos, so I may make another one of that one as well. So, anyways, as always, if you have comments or uh, questions, feel free to post them. Hopefully, me or some other kind soul out there can uh, point you in the right direction.